gonna try. Yeah, might as well. <laughs> well, thanks, G-Wagon. What? <laughs> oh. <laughs> you didn't know I was filming, no. sorry. Should have gave you a warning, I guess. Caught me off guard. Well, we got the unit loaded up, y'all. Hello! Hey! I hit you with the camera. <laughs> I've been doing fine. it to everybody. That's good. <laughs> you I'm haven't like, seen me. You have since, to talk to it. You haven't seen me since Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yo! What up, y'all? Welcome back to another one. Yeah, buddy. We're at it. Uh, today is a pigeon hunt. Haven't done one for a long time. I don't know. It's been, uh, shoot. I can't even remember the last one. The last one was when me and G-Wagon went uh, before we went honker hunting in August. So there's been a lot of requests for it. And so here we are. We have some clients in. Not very many. We're, there's going to be four people total, four clients total, three of them shooting. Me and Gage. Gage is taking his dog. His dog hasn't been hunting all season. So that'll be great. And I'm taking the old Franke with the tube on it. And hopefully my gun camera works today. But before we get into it, I want to tell y'all, first of all, uh, the duck calls are all in stock over at duckswaterfowl.com. Uh, our poly double reed duck call is sweet, $39.99. Cheapest, best, I don't want to say cheap, it's not cheap, it's great. Best low cost call that I've ever blown. Go check it out. All the duck stuff will be linked down in the description below. They're just sitting here watching a guy talk to a camera. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Kind of weird? Yeah, you like you've never seen a guy talk to a camera before. <laughs> Not much to say. Huh? Look at a bayonet on that thing. Oh my lord, look how pretty. This is, we're stealing this from Preston. That's Preston's rig. Good. If I remember right, it has issues. I'm sure it Cycling. does. Cycling. <laughs> <laughs> you better double spring it or it won't feed it. Double spring it or it won't feed it. Well, we're gonna give it a whirl. If it messes up, I guess one of the clients can shoot my gun or something, I guess. It's a pigeon hunt. Whatever goes, goes. Ready? Oh yeah. Let's get out of here. Oh yeah, he says. Oh yeah. The Kool-Aid man. Yeah. <laughs> well, we're in the guide check. Full ace. Oh, you're a funny boy. We got so many labs here hunting dogs. Check out the toys. This is Drew's Can-Am. This is Aaron's King Quad. Preston's Argo. Aaron's dog Ace. What are you doing, you big boy, huh? It's always busy now here. I went from the summertime dragging my feet around, doing some pigeon hunting, doing some pigeon trapping, which I need to fire that up again, but I have absolutely zero time to pigeon trap. With guiding here, guys, it's no joke. Um, it's non-stop and uh, a lot to do. So you can't go outside, Ace. You gotta stay in here, buddy. Daddy will be mad. You stay in here. Don't do it. Well, just got sat up. I'm sure a lot of you are probably wondering, wanting me to answer the question of, Bobby, why, uh, why are you taking your clients on a guided pigeon hunt? Don't you do waterfowl hunts? Of course I do waterfowl hunts. And of course the pigeon hunts are fun. And so when I say, hey, instead of sitting at the lodge, you guys want to go pigeon hunt tonight? They're absolutely going to go. So we have brought out two extra full tube, tubed guns, 12 gauges, uh, for both brothers. So it's going to be fun. I hope that we can shoot them up. I'm not going to promise anything. <laughs> because there's about 50 in the field already. So I hope uh, we haven't missed our window of opportunity. I don't think so because there's been about 200 in here uh, every single evening. So giving it a go, making the clients happy, you know, taking them on an adventure. That's what it's supposed to be when you come to Sand Hill Flyways. So the farmer I'm hunting on, he's finally cut, cutting his beans it's gonna rain tomorrow. So many Kansas farmers are trying to get their beans out and the rest of their wheat in. I'm really feeling for them. They've been working their butts off trying to make it happen. Yeah, it's supposed to, like I said, it's supposed to get rain tomorrow. As you can tell, I'm in a t-shirt. I don't know, it's probably sitting at like 65, 61 with a north wind. The wind is really cool. So, feels great out in the t-shirt especially when you're working hard so i'm gonna stop saying so so many times so many times here's the spread check it out we are hunting center pivot i've hunted here one time before 
probably a year ago oh, here's a bird right here coming right to the spread this is the spread i put out all of my full bodies we got two lucky ducks one old flicker going yeah buddy and we got gage and his dog i haven't hunted i've never hunted with your dog before nope it was first time just gone back from training so oh gonna put there him we to go the test. baby what? Right there. We can't shoot yet. We can't. Here, here, here. Look at that single just doing it over the decoys. Oh, your dog is so ready. Good dog. Landed on the pivot. Okay. <laughs> Landing pigeons on the pivot. So, uh, so, so. I say so so many times. I don't know why. As you can tell, a little overwhelmed. Been really busy. Like, really, really, really busy. Here's another two coming. No. Uh -oh, right over your head, Gage. Right over your head. We're not going to shoot you. You're all right. We got to wait on the clients. The clients are finishing up lunch. Uh, I knew we'd be cutting it close on time, but not this close. So we're going to leave the mojos. I actually turn those mojos off so we don't attract their attention. And we can kind of leave them be here until the clients get in. It's all about the clients. They've never done a pigeon hunt before, so I want to provide something awesome. As you can see, we got very 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 well brushed a frames uh freshies we haven't even used yet that you and gerald and the boys went and did look right over your head oh my oh dude i hope the whole afternoon goes like this yeah you're gonna have a blast yeah so you have a tube yep running your dog we have two of the clients that we provided a tube to benelli and another tube to benelli and this is preston's it's ridiculous and then i have my tubed gun so, turn those uh, spinners off so we don't draw any more attention from, because look, the client should be here in like 10 minutes, hopefully. <laughs> Is he going crazy down there? Well, he just likes to be on the edge of the blind so he can see the whole spread. So. That's funny, we're decoying these birds. <laughs> his dog's losing his mind. Look at this. They're loving it. Oh, darn it. Right, I'm going to stay in the blind here. Darn it, darn it, darn it. What do you do? Drop a comment down below. What do you do? Should have been earlier. That's the problem. Oh, no. Look at this. They all came. Oh, no. We're decoying them, boys. Oh, no. <laughs> They're coming back again. They are not scared. That's for sure. Here they come. Decoying like a... Look at that. Okay. To shoot or not to shoot? That is the question. We gotta wait on the clients. Okay. Yeah, we'll, right we'll wait for a minute. Are you good? Okay. Oh, there we go. Ooh, that's too many. There you go. Come here. You have one in there? Yeah, one in here. A lot. Okay. Oh. Load? Yeah, it's loaded. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. you're ready to go. So, okay, cool. everybody ready to go? Good to go? Safe? Steady? So get ready, you can just stand, just stand up. So this bird, shoot, shoot that bird right there. Somebody shoot it. Nice shot. So don't reload, don't worry about reloading. There's gonna be birds coming. You can just stand up, but it doesn't matter. That was a good shot. Thanks, sir. How do you think? What do you think about the tube? I kinda like it. Is it kinda intimidating? Okay, out front, get ready. Get ready. Take pick you a bird. Keep shooting them. That's, we'll wait. We'll wait. Ready? Shoot them right there. Not really. We didn't shoot anything out of that, boys and girls. <laughs> All right. Well, two more coming right in front. Uh, if you shoot, okay, three on the left here. Get ready. There you go. Oh, man. We're, so get ready. So we'll let him get here. We'll let him get here. Shoot him right there. There we go. Two down. Now you might have to throw some shells in, in your tubes. We got a break here. Go ahead. Huh? It's jamming. I have a yeah, I have some lube. What do you think? Pretty sweet. Pigeon hunting dude. Yeah, we <laughs> We're a little late to the field, but it's working. Yeah, it's fun. They're fast. They're, they're, yeah, they flutter in here pretty good. Okay, like we're, there you go. 
There's some ducks lubricant. Thank you. Okay. There we go. Yep. All right. We're on. It's a decoy. We're shooting them. Okay. The single. Get ready. Someone shoot him. Oh, go down, dude. Oh, I might. Uh, no. Okay. Well, <laughs> swings and misses today. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I love when you call it for a single, it puts the pressure on us. Yeah, so somebody, well, it's even worse. So that was like somebody shoot it, right? Yeah. If you're like, you shoot that bird. <laughs> you and you only, it gets bad. And I did it on the ground even. Hey, uh, with decoys I've done way. it. I've done it so many times. High fives all the way around. Yeah. Yeah, all right. yeah let's sit down a minute. Um, If you need to, just make sure you're comfortable with the grass. That's the biggest thing that like doesn't allow you to shoot good. You know what right. I mean? Yeah. Make sure you got a good hold. With this pigeon hunting, like I said, it don't matter. You can kind of move it out of the way. Y'all have watched pigeon hunts. They're, uh, they are what they are. The birds are not very smart sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> they're like cows, big dumb animals. Yeah, they're pretty. They're not the brightest. IQs are low. Hey, get ready. Oh, we got them coming. Oh, good. Oh, right sweet. Yep, you're all right. The single comes in. You three go after them all together. How about that? Yeah. I'll just back you up. And I'll probably miss two. <laughs> Ready? Let them get in here. Ready? Oh, what? Come on, buddy. All right, we might have to sit down. Wasn't much to film. No. We all missed. <laughs> They're I mean, crazy fast though, oh my gosh. Once the first shot gets gets shot, when they flip, they are gone. Yeah, like, it is so hard to get in front of them. Yeah. If you miss the first shot, they're literally... Yeah, you're way behind them after that. Yeah, they're fast after you miss once. So, we shot out a few more here. Looking good. He's looking good, man. Old Zeke. Oh, that was He's looking sharp, dude. Oh, right to it. Right to it, Dad. Is this is, yeah, his first hunt out of training? Yep. That's awesome. Yeah. Sit. Sit. He said, but I want to lick it, Dad. <laughs> Yeah, you guessed it. That pigeon hunt didn't work out as well as others, <laughs> put it that way, but we did shoot 10. That's not bad. And you know what? The clients, they had a great time. Jenny, uh, Hogan's mom. So Hogan came last year and uh, he was like, hey man, I want to bring my family next year. My mom would love this. I'm like, well, come on. Well, only five of them came, but they booked the whole lodge because they wanted it to themselves. They wanted privacy, they wanted to have fun, and that's what today's pigeon hunt was all about. Just going, having some laughs, having fun, and enjoying their time here. That time. Go! What do you uh, got going on? Tell the people. Well, I'm filling in for Chef Bert. He had a little family emergency at home. Yes, sir. So do what we can to help each other out. Yep. Hibachi night. Look at that. Tell everybody what you got going on for hibachi. We got, you gonna make fried rice, lo mein, vegetable medley, uh, meats inside. We got filet and chicken and Ooh, shrimp. I seen it sitting out. Mm -hmm. I wanted to go cut me a little rare piece off. Oh yeah, it's gonna be good. <laughs> gonna be good. So this is the same hibachi that you did up in North Dakota mm -hmm. on the honker hunts. So if you've seen those videos, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, Dude, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna have the worst gas all day tomorrow. You do. <laughs> you can't. You can't make kibachi without a lot of butter. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem. It uh, whew, yeah. You know, when he says a lot of butter, that's what he means. A lot of butter and oil. I don't know how much oil you put on this thing in the last 30 minutes. Look. At, oh, that was just. A, oh, look at him. I feel like I'm at the at the restaurant myself. I don't have any alcohol to do the light the flame oh, to make, yeah. the, make the choo-choo train oh the veggies are on and... oh, 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 oh. oh man 
So, yeah, we pigeon hunted today, and the reason why I'm bringing y'all along on the cook tonight, one of the main reasons is uh, the last video, well, the video that went up today, they liked it, dude. They really liked it. The jumping around like the whole day kind of vlog. Yep, showing me scouting, showing you guys hunting, going back and forth. That was fun. Yeah. Next time, we need to have some calls, like in the car where we talk to each other on film. Oh, yeah. Like phone calls. That'd be fun. All right, here's the good part. The butter. So, what we're going to do, we're bringing along for dinner tonight. Tomorrow, uh-huh, we're going to get out to teal hunting. There's this teal hole I found and did not know that a farmer that I do a lot of business with, a lot of hunting on, uh, he farmed it. I had no idea. And it's going to be amazing. I didn't know, he didn't even know that there was water in it this year. And sure enough, dude. It's gonna be rainy tomorrow. It's gonna be a good, good shoot, huh? It's gonna be a good shoot tomorrow. Yeah, and we're gonna. I'm gonna shoot, and then I'm gonna make teal poppers. Oh, they're gonna be amazing. Aaron's actually gonna cook them. He said he'd cook them. He has a special recipe. He, he makes homemade. He's got homemade jalapeno. Homemade, homegrown jalapenos. Right. Picked from his garden. Well, it is the next day here, and I hope that you all can see me. Um, we just got done setting up the blind. It's sitting at. 6:10 in the morning shooting light is right at 6:35 today uh so i hope you have liked kind of the build up uh to the actual duck hunt of this video you know with the opening pigeon hunt with the clients and then a little bit of food cooking if you do drop a comment down below and let your boy know uh me and p diddy uh as all you know p diddy films uh a lot he films and edits most of my videos uh but unfortunately we've had uh, Bert, ha Bert has had a family emergency and y'all know Bert is our chef. So, uh, while Bert deals with, uh, his family events, um, Preston has became camp chef for a little bit to fill in for Bertus. So, uh, smash a, uh, I, I really ask you guys, smash a thumbs up for old Bert and, um, He's going through something pretty scary with this with his family and uh, he just needs some prayers and some good blessings so if you all could go follow Bert on Instagram and send him a message um, just keep your head up buddy he would uh, I guarantee you he'd really like that so anyways we are ready to roll uh, there's gonna be me and the clients today only I did bring my gun um, I would like to shoot some teal they want me to shoot um, these are very small fast birds and they're like, bah, please, please shoot, you know. So um, I would like to have, uh, I'd like to make some teal poppers here. Uh, so I need, I need some teal. Plus I need a blue wing and a green wing to go with my uh, three species teal mount. I have that cinnamon teal and I want all three of them in one mount. I'm gonna shut up. <laughs> Let's get going. All right, we can shoot. It is right at time. And it's really dark on the camera. Um, do you want to wait to shoot or do, are you ready to shoot? Yeah, we're ready. Okay. Let's get ready, guys. Let's wait a minute. I just turned that mojo on, so they're going to do it. Basically, watch out in front here. See them? Holy cow, you can't see anything. There's like 12 yep. right there that just landed. Yep. Just get ready. Here comes one. Shoot him right there. Oh, man. Oh, they all got up. Reload, hurry. I was not loaded. <laughs> uh, I'm worried about everything else. Anybody shoot one? I think we, I got one, one down. One down? Did yeah. it fall in the middle here? Yep. Okay, they're, they're all on the left, guys. Shoot that duck. Nice shot. Damn. All right. Oh, it's still moving. Uh, no, that's a different one there. In the okay. water? Finish yeah. it off? Uh, no. Yeah, yeah, shoot that bird if you Watch can. Your ears. Yep, go ahead. All right, you're good. Up front here. Shoot that one. Nice shooting. Good shooting. That's an easy one. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> they just stay there for you, you know? Exactly. I hope you guys can see something by now. Probably not. If you're liking this, this little till shoot, I hope you can see something you know what to do. Come on. <laughs> All right, it's time to find some ducks. 
find some ducks. Do what? Nothing? I thought I heard you say something. All right. Where are we at? There's one. That's a good looking green wing. Oh, that's a good looking one. Look at that bird. That's a beauty. Oh. Heck, yeah, this is awesome. Man, what a hole. Awesome little hole. All right, we should have some more right here. I'm out here searching around. Look how foggy it's getting. Weather sitting in. There's some rail and snipe out here. That's what just got up. I can't believe the amount of water in here. Look at all this water in this flooded Milo. Look where the spread is. Way over there. See the blind? This water goes forever. Check that bad boy out. That's probably going to be the mounter bird for my teal trifecta. Heck yeah. That's a beauty. Finally getting in the season where the, the heads are red. Looking real good. Say this water goes forever in this Milo field. It is absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it's everywhere. A ton more water than I ever, ever expected. Like a lot more. I, can, I reckon we're probably gonna end up hunting this field quite a bit for the ducks. First hill ever. Oh, it's great. And your mountain, three drake. Three drakes. It three was drake awesome. green wings. Oh, absolutely. Dude, yeah, that's they awesome. Came in, they came in like fighter jets. It was so fast. <laughs> it was a hot hunt. I was like, it's going to be fast. It's going to be hectic. Absolutely. We got to be safe with our guns because we're going to be shooting. It's going to be dark. Oh, yeah. It, we shot a, like a full box in 15 minutes. It was like Literally. nothing. Yeah. And it's your brother's birthday tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Turning Hit. 27. Yeah. Oh, 27. yeah. Happy late birthday to him. Or Hit. early birthday. Yeah. For his first teal, too. Yep. Everyone's first deal. That's awesome. Yeah, it was a lot of first. I'm this so week. glad it worked out. Oh yeah. Did you have a good scout morning, Drusen? Oh, I don't know. We put on a lot of miles. Did you? You uh, and old Oakley girl? Yep. You gotta show the. Go ahead and put them bad boys on. Show the people at home what you got going on with old Oakley. Oh wait, you're the, you're going the right way. Come back over here. Now. Oh. She said, "Oh, I'm sorry, Dad." That's my fault. I had the wrong one. <laughs> So, so explain explain why real quick a lot of new viewers this year right so a few years ago working with a different outfitter did a duck hunt really muddy field really muddy we actually ended up not being able to take just even a side by side by itself in there for a four wheeler but <clears throat> got stuck in the mud tore this achilles tendon first um it's misdiagnosis and stuff like that whatever ended up tearing both of them so now she just wears these braces as a preventative. They've healed as much as they can naturally on their own. Right. Uh, surgery wasn't an option at that point because it had been so long, so it had too much scar tissue to be repaired. Mm -hmm. So now this is it. How long has she been wearing them now? Mm -hmm. Like three years, I think. Three years. Hi, Oakley. For two years. Old booze two hound. Years. Oh, she's an old booze hound. Come here. What are you doing? Chilling? Watching. Just watching the show. Watching Forrest Gump over here. <laughs> so we actually, uh, I did a whole outro to this video already back here. Blah, 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 blah. Bobby just jabbering and we went and opened up the video. Old P did. He got to edit, editing it. And There's no I, audio. Yeah, my mic is smoked on my camera. Time for a new camera body. Yes. Old Bob. That thing's given you a lot of use though. What is that? I've five had it, years? No, 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 no. Four? Like three. Three? That's yeah, not like bad. a full three years, probably on the old Sony A7 three. three. So if you know cameras, first question. We're gonna make this video long, first of all. We're gonna make it way longer than I thought. We're gonna film the boys coming back. They're just getting done with their uh hunt on the last of three hunts for this 12-man group that we have in. Old Scott Pennington, thank you for coming and bringing your group. It's been an awesome three days, and I know today has been the banger hunt. So we're going to we're gonna get some info on the guys' hunt, and then we're going to take you along on the Argo. We have a, uh, a little Milo hole 
Yeah, the one you hunted in this video. Exactly. Yeah. We're going to go cool. back to that Milo hole, and I want to knock down some of those cut stalks and expose more of the water. What do you got to say about it? Uh, it's going to be juicy. We got all that work done. I was thinking, too, if, if we want to, we can take my four-wheeler. Oh, yeah. While he's just driving around in the Argo, I can just make laps and knock some down around. So yeah. if we ever want to hunt it in white yeah. or something. Yeah, it's one of them things we got to get on it and get it done now. Uh, a lot of you guys know, finally, North Dakota, Canada, South Dakota got some good snow. And it's really cold up there. We have seen lines and just freight trains of birds coming into the area all day. So I'm going to shut up. Let's see how the boys did. Well, it's that time. Old Gerald and Aaron ran the hunt today. They're just pulling in. You're good. He's all the way up there. They had a good hunt today. We'll see him. We'll ask him how it went. Well, how'd it go? It was good. It was good? It was really good. Lots of ducks. Lots of ducks. <clears throat> Lots of new birds. I know. Lots Lot of lessers. We've seen a hybrid today, too. Uh-uh. Yeah. At the very end, there was a group of lessers working us, and I was like, ugh. Remember last year how they just stick out so different when we seen that speck? Yeah. It's the same thing, but big old white head. Oh. He's beautiful. Good. What'd you shoot total? Middle 30s. Huh. That's good. No, it was good. That's real good. A lot of ducks. Should have had a lot more. <laughs> <laughs> Lots of swings and Lots misses. Lots of swings and misses. Oh, everything fell over. We're pretty good. Oh, this stuff's already laid down. Yeah, checking out the. It's a long hole. Trust me, you get out here. Get in there. Oh, yeah. We're going to smash these stocks down. Look at that. Go ahead, Bob. We're out here doing it. This is going to open it up a lot. This is uh, the Mallards. The big ducks are going to absolutely love this. It's going to take a long time. We're going to be out here for a while. Well, it's working pretty good. Check out the hole we got now. Holy smokes. Holy smokes, we got a hole. Looks good. This is the main hole that we opened up now. Man, they're going to be able to see that water from a mile away. Look at that. It's got duck written all over it, boys and girls. Woo! Yeah, buddy. Well, that worked out good. That did work. That's kind of, I hope it turns juicy. That's sweet. And then that little pond in the back, too. Yeah. I took P. Diddy to go see the pond in the back, and she's a beaut. We're going to be hunting this uh, quarter quite a bit. Big shout out to Brian uh, for letting me hunt his stuff. Thank you, Brian. Brian's a farmer of all this land. And without good farmers allowing me to hunt, uh, I wouldn't be able to do this. So we're going to dedicate this video to them. And uh, other news, go join the podcast. we got a new one hitting probably in the morning. So go check it out. It's raw. It's real. It's the real deal behind the scenes. We get to kind of just let loose and bump our gums a little bit. But anyway, subscribe if you have it. We'll see you guys. <laughs> That's a grandpa saying right there, <laughs> bumping your gums. Chin music. Yeah, <laughs> yep.